All right, welcome back. The last time we left off, we were able to get the water hole to replenish our soldiers' HPs. So we should be good. And we did get some fuel. So we got lucky with that as well. So if anything, we're, we can go back to the settlement to purchase more fuel. But let's go ahead and keep going over these undiscovered nodes. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. Got a chest. Medium ammo box. Let's go ahead and take that. Hmm. I don't know if I want to waste the space to go to these locations because you still spend a fuel point going over a spot you've been before. So let's go back and get more fuel. Oh, there's only one fuel left. I don't know if that was worth. Okay, ammo box. Painkiller. Does that heal? Let's just get a painkiller. That might be able to heal us. Did we get a level up? Awesome. Okay, so the first skill, so you either can select crit damage or just regular damage. I want to go with the guaranteed damage here. Let's go ahead with the guaranteed damage for Miguel here. And then knife damage, knife crit. Yeah, let's go with straight. I would rather have the straight up damage than the crit damage. But we are running out of fuel. So, hmm. I have three fuels left. One, two, three. I'm not going to make it here. Damn. Hopefully, we find something here, or we're going to be in some trouble. You see a lot of tire tracks in the sand in front of the Lonely Desert Temple, so you enter carefully and with weapons drawn. Ooh. Your, pr your prudence pays off. In a temple chamber, you take a lone sentry by surprise. You quickly disarm him. Hmm... Oh, since my guy does, I think Miguel has intimidation. Let's use that. Miguel leans down menacingly face to face with the soldier. All alone out here, surrounded by your enemies. I would be worried if I were you. The man caves in. Caves in. We send a squad into the burial chamber, but something must have gone wrong. Spare me and I'll show you the secret entrance. Without waiting for your answer, the soldier starts pawing at the altar. Suddenly, a hidden stone door opens in the wall. A steep staircase leads into the depths. Let's go. So we spared him. He just jumped right over him. That was funny. You leave the man bound and gagged while you start your descent. After a while, you reach the burial chamber where a gruesome scene awaits you. The corpses of a squad of German soldiers lie scattered around the sarcophagus. Their dislocated limbs and oh shit! Their dislocated limbs are twisted into impossible positions. While you're wondering what all this means, to your horror, the dead suddenly start to move. With dismal groans, they start to shuffle towards you like grisly puppets. It's very um. Oh shit! Very visual. I like that a lot. Okay. So there's, oh my god, one, two, three, f shit, seven zombies, and they're all, one's up there, we got a couple in front of us, so let's go ahead and put ourselves as far as away as we can. Nice. Yeah, Miguel has some really good range, we'll use that to our advantage. Enemy spotted, where? Let's um Let's put you right here. See how far they can move. Okay, it doesn't look like it, like they can move too far. So hopefully Miguel's gonna be able to take down some before they actually get to us. What? Okay. <laughs> So in this game, zombies shoot projectiles. That's that's funny. How much range does this have? 
Let's move him here and take this one out. Nice. And then... What's the range on Miguel? So two more spaces. Damn. Can I not move again if I committed? Damn, okay. So I gotta really be careful. If I move and commit, I can't take it back. So we're just gonna have to wait here. Hopefully, not all of them have that projectile spit or whatever that was. Okay, looks like they don't. Okay. What is going on? Throw a grenade. Nice. Got two right there. This guy shoots projectiles. I don't know if I can line of sight. Let's see if we can. Make it harder for him to hit us. And I guess whatever that guy did to this guy, my shotgun guy, can't move now. And I can't even reach. So we'll just have to... I don't feel like wasting bravery. So we'll just stand him right here. Okay. Zombie's just out of range. Awesome. I can take him out. And then I'm going to reload the shotgun. Oh, that was it? What happened to... Hmm. Thought there was still the sky over here, but I don't know. Guess we didn't have to kill that one. Please give me fuel. Damn. So I don't have fuel. Can be used as car fuel, apparently. Oh, well. There we go. We got lucky right there. So hopefully we have more fuel. We have to make it to... there to sleep and restore hopefully we'll be able to make it with uh, with having gas or fuel the entrance to the temple in front of you has been smashed in you enter the building with weapons drawn once inside your suspicions are confirmed a group of German soldiers are camping here they have seen you okay I'm still pretty healthy so I'm not too worried hopefully there's not a lot okay three that's not bad Got a doggo and two soldier soldiers, or one soldier and a random, I don't know what that is yet. But we can go ahead and move pretty close. So that's line of sighting me. Let's move Miguel right here. And then we can finish him off with Pereira. I think that's how you say his name. I'm just gonna call him Peter. Make it easier on myself. So Peter and Miguel. I missed. God damn. I'll take out the doggo. Okay. We'll be able to finish him off. Actually, okay. You can see the percent. Why haven't I been paying attention to that? You can see the percent of... Or the chance to hit, so... Since they're right in front of his face, we can't miss. So we load weapons. Come on, fuel. Damn. We'll take those, though. So we have one fuel left. Let's cross our fingers. Take a short break when a sudden shot shatters the silence. Fountains of sand explode from your feet. 
You immediately take cover and scan the rocky landscape with your eyes, but you cannot see the shooter. You rush out to scour the surrounding area, but your search is in vain. Warily, you continue your journey, but the mysterious attacker does not strike again. Um, when you've used up the last drop of gas, your jeep finally gives up the ghost and sputters to a halt. You exchange look of con consternation. Will you continue your journey on foot or give up? So what happens if you give up? You have to start all over, I'm assuming, but do you still keep all the experience and things like that? Hmm. Let's continue on foot. Okay, so you take damage. The desert winds moan softly through the sunken tombs of this long abandoned place. Ah, damn, so you take damage. Hmm. Will I be able to make it there? Even from a distance, you can see that something is wrong in the village ahead of you, so you approach cautiously using low walls for coverage. Hmm. You check your ammunition, take your position, then you open fire. The farmers seek shelter in their huts, and the Germans return fire. Okay, so hopefully... So I did take damage for moving without my vehicle. Hopefully, uh, okay, okay, four soldiers. Let's see, what's my HP looking at? Not looking too great. One right there. One right there. Okay. So, we gotta just, oh man, my guys are super low. Holy shit. We gotta take this guy out quick. Awesome. And then, I'm going to go low profile, so I have a higher chance to dodge. So this is going to help me survive, hopefully, from this next assault, if they're able to shoot at me. <clears throat> Damn. This is not looking good. So I just gotta run up to this guy and pray that I one shot him. Nice. And then. Hmm. Let's move back. This guy's gonna get a shot off on me. Miss! Oh my god. <laughs> Please miss again. Is this guy gonna get a shot off on me? Okay, he didn't. Okay, so how are we gonna play this? Burst fire. Nice. Then you just run up on him. Please kill him! Oh my god, it did kill him! What a disaster. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Okay. Oh my god, and I miss. And I'm gonna have to reload. This is, this has, I'm just gonna throw a nade at him. It's my only option. Other than that, I would have to reload and risk the chance of dying. So what happens to my guy? He's knocked out. Please, some health or something. The last shot dies away. The villagers cautiously, cautiously emerge from their huts. The village elder thanks you profusely. Then he points despondently at the village well. Repair the well. Oh my god. They don't even heal me? This is not good. I think I'm going to die. 
if I move forward. I don't... Can I heal myself? So I can't heal myself. Because I don't have the... Um... Damn. I might die here. Oh my god, this I think that just saved me. I just got fuel from that. Oh thank god. <laughs> Holy shit, that was close. So I'm full back to full HP. That was really close. Thank god I got that um that fuel right there. But I still only have two fuel left, so I only can make it here. I don't know if I should, I should, I don't know what uh, stopping the journey means. Promising colors in the distance turn out to be nothing but amount of useless trash dumped. Hmm. I don't want to give up. We'll just continue on foot one more time. We'll take, we're still at full HP, so that's not bad. From afar, you can hear commands echoing in the desert air. You cautiously sneak forward and discover sandbags and machine gun nests. The soldiers are building a fortified camp here. Um, can I look at my, okay. So I don't think, if they're fortified, I'm not, I don't think we'll be able to take this fight. So I'm just gonna withdraw. I have not noticed you yet. Attack. Okay, let's attack this. I think this is going to be a smaller force. So I think we'll be able to win this fight. Even though we have uh, like half HP. Yeah, it's just two doggos and uh, a soldier. Doggo right there. We should be able to win this with no problem. Okay. And hopefully we can take out the soldier before he shoots one of my guys. I don't think so, though. Damn, that doggo ran pretty far. This guy's, yeah, gonna definitely be able to shoot me. Last time we didn't kill him, so I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to shock and blast him. And that didn't even kill him either. Okay. And let's move you back. Since you have no armor. And then Peter can tank a shot here, hopefully. Unless this guy is smart and goes after Miguel. No, he's not. We'll just finish this guy off. Let me miss Arna. Okay, good. Alright, so we need fuel. That's what I'm hoping for. Fuel. Nope. This is close. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the boss fight. I'm going into this with no HP. And it just took more damage. We'll see how it goes. You see the fortified base of the excavation regiment southwest on the valley plain ahead of you. You have finally reached your goal. As you're considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot lone or marked jeep approaching your vehicle. You hide behind the rocks and wait for your patrol, or excuse me, wait for the patrol to disembark. Then you take up, you take them up by surprise and tie them up. A short time later, you drive into the German camp wearing borrowed uniforms. The bored-looking sentry waves your jeep through the, uh, excuse me, through with barely a glance. So far, so good. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex. Morton must be here somewhere. 
Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. You suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drive, drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars. You immediately jump into your captured jeep and tag onto the end of the convoy as it exits the camp and heads into the desert. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary base. You see Mortem being led away. You don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear a shout. You have been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons. So this is it. Oh my goodness. How many enemies are going to be here? Oh, I'm so fucked. Um... This is Miguel. We'll place Miguel right here. And then Peter right here. One shot him. Nice. And then we'll move you behind cover. And then you have to one shot him, Peter. Please. Yes. So far so good. We just can't get shot. Okay, good. That's a doggo. He's not too much of a threat. Two doggos. Not too bad. Miss. Damn, did I die? Yeah, I died. Okay. Hmm. This is not good at all. Gonna move away from that doggo. Hopefully he misses us. I don't think that doggo is gonna make it. It is. Yeah, it looks like I'm dead. Miss. Okay, thank God. Okay, um, still in a lot of trouble here. Hmm. No, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm dead. I just ran into the open. Just accepting my fate. Damn. So what happens now? Do your best, but in the end, the enemy won. Somebody else will have to save Morton from his fate. Oh, that's so sad. So, let's see what happens. This is tough. Okay, so I have to pursue a new adventure. Okay, but these guys are dead. In order to bring them back, back excuse me, I have to get $500. Okay, so I have to start over with new characters unless I had enough cash to revive them. But now I know a little bit more about how the game works. It looks like it's mostly random. I did get lucky, but I did get unlucky as well. I probably should have just returned without um, without continuing on on foot. That probably would have saved me from dying. But I just wanted to see what it would what would happen if I just kept going. So without the jeep, you take damage on foot and um, you do have the option to stop the journey. So we'll probably go ahead and do that next time so we don't have to kill off some of our characters. And uh, it takes $500 to heal them back. But um, let's see here. I'll end this second part here. <laughs> end it on the bad note. But I'll quickly upload the, uh, the next part here so we can go ahead and continue on. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and choose the sniper. And... Uh, Jackson. Yeah, this guy looks like an assault and a sniper. So I'll pick them next, uh, part three. Um, damn, we died. This game is kind of tough, and and that's that's pretty cool. It's not it's not like just running through it. And I'm on normal difficulty. Imagine if it was like even harder. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this part. Uh, part two and then uh, I'll quickly upload the third part here. I mean I am enjoying the game, so we'll go ahead and continue on. 
But uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.